Hey, this is Rick Casales from ExercisesForInjuries.com. I'm continuing on with the lower back pain flare-up series. What to do when you get a lower back pain flare-up. We've gone through phase one, two, and now we're finishing up, wrapping up phase three. So we've gone from the ankle, knee, and we're kind of finishing up at the hip area. So we're at the self-massage stuff. A lot of times when you end up having a lower back pain flare, the muscles around the hip tighten up, lock up, and end up affecting the pelvis and the lower back. So it's important to self-massage those muscles in order to get those muscles to relax and decrease the pull and strain on the lower back. So make sure when you have a lower back pain flare that you end up addressing these muscles. So this is Rick Cassell from ExercisesForInjuries.com signing off and saying, hey, if you're a fitness professional, make sure you swing by the blog and get my you know, shoulder injury guide. I know it's going to help you with your clients that have shoulder injuries. You can swing by the blog or you can just click the blue link down below. So this is Rick Cassell saying take care and bye-bye.